At first, I have to give some information about the the content I have to uh, read about. Seventy eight uh, assisted my life from the early childhood onwards, and I'm collecting vocal records since the sixties. When I went to study uh, at the Technical University in Vienna. And during my business in the phonogram archive of the Austrian Academy of Sciences, I have had the chance to study the periodical phonographische Zeitschrift issued uh, in Berlin by Roth, Giese, and Giese, starting. 1900 and went up to the early surface. In order to get some information about the development of the recording industry in Europe from the early beginning onwards. And uh, I also collecting vocal records. So I was on ABO by the so-called uh, record collector at that time issued by John Dennis. And uh, for me, for some interest because of uh, the, the first publication of um, gramophone companies, uh, matrices, for the several journeys abroad. Once upon a time on, on Saturday, early in the morning, I went to the court uh, in Vienna in order to look for 70 days. And uh, I was lucky at least to get the paper uh, sheets uh, which uh, who another fellow didn't like to buy it. And uh, when I went home and made a closer look to that, it turned out that these are the first catalogs of the Berliner Kim Gramophone Company. And um, a friend of mine, um, immediately gave the information to Ellen Kelly, which of course uh, took it up and uh, he stimulated immediately the, the, the h and catalog series. In spring 1899, Emil Berliner's gramophone company has undertaken its first recording tour to the continent, recording in major cities like Leipzig, Budapest, Vienna, Milano, Paris, and so on. The Geisberg Diaries show no recording in Croatian language. The first recordings in this language have been made two years later in Vienna by the engineer William Sinclair Darby. Five titles by Alvin Lukas. The label is not very uh, good visible because it is a second, second copy of, of the original scan. The label states Agram, but indeed it's recorded in Vienna. The activities of the gramophone company in Zagreb are well documented and have been made available through Ellen Kelly's Central Europe catalog. In 1901, a new strong competitor appeared in the continental record business. The International Sonophone Company, founded in 1901 in 
Manhattan, New York by Frederick Marion Prescott. European headquarter was in Berlin, Ritterstrasse 71. The company undertook soon widespread recording activities in Europe and was the real business enemy of the gramophone company. And therefore the company tried to, to get access to, to, uh, to the shares. And in 1903, um, on June 14th, the gramophone company put by out the Zonophone company, but the former director, Frederick Prescott, immediately found a new firm. This is the International Talking Machine Company with its labels Phonotypia and Odeon. The former represent, general representative of Zonophone in the Austrian Empire. Hermann Maasen, he was issuing uh, one of the first Odeon catalogs, earned the same position within the International Sonophone. Odeon presented his first records uh, at the Sampras Fair in Leipzig in spring 1904, all double sided. But it uh, not uh, it was not Odeon to pre to present the first double sided records. Immediately before uh, Sona was sold to the gramophone company, there turned up double sided uh, Sonophone records in Brazil. Odeon established recording studies, studios in every major city like the gramophone company. One of them was in Vienna. When the company starts recording in Vienna in 1904, Vienna has been assigned the matrix letter V. The recording started with number one, despite the size of the record. The size was indicated by additional letter X. Without uh, X, it was eight inch diameter. With X, it was then three quarters diameter. And double X was 12 inch. The catalog number pro provided an indication for the national and the linguistic affiliation of the size as well. Eosia von Petro, born in 1876 in Osijek, was a Slavonian contralto engaged at the Vienna Court Opera in the Mahler era. The September edition of the Austrian catalog lists, among other Croatian content, three double-sided records of this artist. In order to, to get access to the system in the, uh, with which the, the records have been published, uh, I um, explain it from left hand to right hand side. VX is a, um, they uh, gives the, with the V, the, the number of uh, the, the, the city of the recording, X the size. It's the uh, number in consequence. Maybe it's, uh, it was recorded in 1904. So uh, from when it started with uh, one. 1906, like this, like this uh, the recordings of Yosha Petu, they had reached 1400. The next uh, figure is 35617, 
three indicating the pentry quarter inch, five uh, Hungarian, six Croatian. So therefore, uh, not a lot of Croatian records uh, at that time have been recorded. And then follows the title. Perhaps you can uh, re uh, read it and explain it better than I can uh, because it's not my own language. And uh, judging from, from the last uh, record with the matrix number 1405 or 06, this record was uh, published in the August catalog 1906 as so-called novel, new record, new recorded. So somebody can assume that all the other uh, Croatian recordings of Josia Petru um, had been made at the same session. The liberal company policy enabled recordings in all countries and cities. As uh, mentioned before, to every recording location, a particular metric series has been allocated and started, running independent of the size from one to upwards. The size and the recording location were encoded within the prefix. The national, the linguistic identity, respectively, were marked by special catalog number series, which carried also an additional marker for the record size. Late in autumn 1907, a major reorganization took place, which affected the Austrian Hungarian market violently. The small Odeon disc was abandoned, and the popular then three quarter disc was stopped soon. In the turn of a year, the blue 10-inch Jumbo record and then afterwards the Jumbo records have been introduced. If you want to uh, have more information about the Odeon catalog, or the, the, the discography, you have to go to a, a internet site of Christian Zwag. He is the German so-called compiler for Odeon. While the Columbia Phonogram Company was, was present in Europe since 1901. German and Austrian recordings didn't turn up until 1903. For a for short time, titles recorded by famous artists were published in, as discs and cylinders as well, as it's the case, for instance, for, for the famous singer Leos Lesak who made at the same uh, recording session uh, cylinder recordings and the disc recordings. <clears throat> the first records, they are not as successful compared to the issues of the other major companies because of the rather noisy shell up. But since 1910, Columbia produced records made of the common composition. <clears throat> Very soon, several other companies, particularly of German nature, as Anker, Baker, Da Capo, Favorite, Homophone, Lorophone, Lyophone, Polyphone, and Pate forged ahead. All of them recorded in the monarchy and covered the local demand. Only a few items, few firms 
were controlling the European market shortly before the breakout of the Great War. The Columbia Phonograph Company, the Gramophone Company, and the Lindstrom Trust, and only a short time, Patif Reyes. <clears throat> Lyrophon uh, was the home company of the so-called Liban brothers. They made uh, uh, a lot of um, cylinders of uh, vocal content just before, but in the in the in the course of the of the uh, of the success of the record, they uh, changed very soon to uh, make records themselves, and the the recording engineer Sandal. Uh, was uh, on road to record over uh, the mid Europe and made, of course, also records, recordings in Lemberg, Prague, Brünn, Wien, Leiber, Agram, Budapest. And the general distributor of, for these records was the so called Leos Lenov, Vienna. But it was not able. I was not able to find more information about Lyrophone. Uh, Lyrophone was taken over in the in uh, just before the outbreak of the Great War by the uh, Lindstrom uh, company. The next one uh, was. Else Madia Hungremes Bia, it's the first uh, Hungarian record company. Uh, it was uh, founded by a millionaire, Pete uh, Schongor, who was also the owner of the company. And his aim was to produce and to sell his own recordings only. Um, making recordings in Hungary. His focus was to publish recordings of the well-known popular Hungary, Hungarian artists and performance, and performance, and he was also the owner of the factory. The, the first recording engineers came from, from Lyrophone, it was Max Winter and Karl Sandal. And, uh, and uh, in winter on January 1st, 1908, and Sandal in August 1908 were their so called most prominent recording engineers. In February 1909, the company announced the opening of their business in Vienna under the leadership of Ludwig Leitner. The records were sold under the so-called premier label. But the, the uh, ethnic content uh, was issued later on on the so-called special label. Uh, and the, uh, this label listed a repertoire in Hungarian, German, Serbian, Slovenian, Slovakian, Bohemian, Croatian, Turkish, Armenian, Tatarian, Russian, Romanian, Polish, and Hebrew language. Um, this company uh, is uh, available to the information of Gesa Gabor Simon who uh, made uh, a paper for GHT. And uh, if you're 
uh, have a look to uh, through this paper. Uh, it was at that time the chance it was announced that they will also present a so-called special catalog, a special catalog. But I have no knowledge if it turned up until now. The last uh, company uh, I have knowledge about is child platin film Favorit Records established in 1904. Office for the Austro-Hungarian Empire was uh, film firm of Sigi Weiss and Co. in Vienna Magdalenstraße near Theater an der Wien. And in 1906, Favorit uh, announced a so-called test record made by Victor R. Record. He was a, a, a freelancing engineer who uh, 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 promoted the new recording process. And uh, Later on, there were announced a lot of recordings made in Romania and other territories. It was in 1910, a uh, recording in Belgrade, Serbian, then Sarto, Bulgarian, Liber, Ljubljana, Slovenia, Slovenian, and uh, Polish recordings as well. The catalog uh, of the favorite uh, company was similar organized to that of the gramophone company. The catalog number shows an American code consisting of a prefix, which indicates the size of the records. The real catalog number is separated by a dash, composed of five digits usually. The first digit indicates the country, the second one, the content. Some records show at the three o'clock position the date of the recording, either in European mode or in the Arabic numeral in reverse mode. The records shown on these pages They have been recorded just in spring 1911 by the recording engineer Hans F. Winfeld, who toured through, through the Balkan at that time. For more information, look at the internet information provided by Hugo Strutbaum. He uh, is professor for Turkish language emeritus and had a strong focus not on the uh, on the Turkish recordings, but also on uh, all the experts uh, who that, that had been in charge of recording in that regions. And uh, if you go to this uh, um, homepage, then you will find not even the uh, information about uh, the experts in charge of uh, of, um, of uh, favorite, but also of the Odeon, of Sonophone, all the other uh, all the people who have been active in the record business of that time. The Great War disrupted the recording activities almost totally because. Whether the companies were embedded in their uh, industry or couldn't record because of hostile act actions. Only larger companies had been able to make recordings on a small, on a small label, a smaller scale, like Odeon in 1916. Thank you for your attention.